Hi, and welcome back to week two of Making Money with Marlia. Ladies, I hope that you guys are ready to start living your lives out loud and actually doing things that you love to bring in income. If you reviewed the first week, you would have saw that there was a Discover Your Purpose ebook because I believe that women should actually make money doing what they're supposed to do, doing what God has gifted them and called them to do. You were supposed to do a Discover Your Purpose ebook as well as start it to listen to or re-listen to Think and Grow Rich. These things are very important, ladies. I believe in us actually doing what we were called to do as well as getting our mindsets prepared for the wealth that we need, okay? So those two things are very important. Also, from week one, I want to recap. We went over our our meetup, ladies. Thank you so very much for Veronica and Angela who came through at the meetup, as well as all the women who were engaging on live. That was just phenomenal. I love hearing about your ideas and all the wonderful things that you guys desire to do. Like y'all just y'all are doing it. At the first meetup, meet and if you have not seen the video, please check it out because it gave you some action steps for us to just begin the brainstorming process of how it is that you're going to make money. I'm not gonna do that recap here. You can watch the video. I need you guys to look through everything in week one before moving on to week two. Now, we're on week two, and it's my hope that if you did the work in week one, you have figured out at least one or two things that you wanna do right now in 2020 to start making money or whenever you watch this video you're saying this month this next week whatever this is the thing that i want to do so i want to know who are you now becoming for me i went from being just marlia brian hall a wife and a mother and an author to an accountability coach i said that this was the income that i wanted to generate i wanted to be able to bring in money holding women accountable to their dreams to their goals or whatever so i became the accountability coach who are you becoming are you becoming a realtor are you becoming and um, an artist? Are you becoming a daycare owner? Are you becoming a baker, a hairstylist, a nail tech? Whatever your job or occupation is, and even if it's something that you invented, because I feel like I invented accountability coaching, even though there's probably many other accountability coaches, but who is it that you are becoming? It's very specific because before we can actually share your product or share your service in the world, we need to know who it is that you are and what it is that you do. So that's the second part, ladies. Who are you now? And it might not be a name you know you might not be able to specifically say like this is what I am but um you could just consider yourself maybe a vlogger or a blogger if that's what you're going uh, towards and it could be like a health vlogger or a health blogger if you're like I don't really know what the name of this thing is but I know I'm gonna be writing and I know I'm gonna be speaking I'm gonna be teaching or I am a speaker whatever it is I need you to number one this week figure out who are you all right. When you think about who you are, just like an accountability coach, I need you to know what are the details of what that person does now. Okay. And that is the, the assignment for this next week. Who are you? Okay. And you might still have the same job type. I'm like, we have um, women who already have businesses and are already bringing in money a certain way. So whatever that is, that is great. We can continue in that. You can keep your title, but I need to know now, what is everything that this person does? For me, I hold women accountable. I create schedules for women. I talk to women day in and day out. I, um, uh, I'm trying to think of all the things that I do. I text them. We have phone calls. We process. We brainstorm. Uh, all the things that you know you can do, I need you to figure out how underneath this one title, you're going to be able to do all of these things. Because eventually for us to actually sell this product or service, we have to know what it is that you're actually telling the people that you can do for them. So this assignment, I feel like is extremely easy this week, but at the same time, it's going to take you doing the work. You have to know who it is that you are. I'm showing up as a caretaker. I'm showing up as a marketing strategist. I'm going to show up now as a content creator. I'm going to be a tutor. I'm going to, you know, be a speaker, whoever it is that you are. And I need you to figure out what are all these things that you're offering what are the things that are going to bring in the money okay do you have um for me it was my accountability packages so it was actually me physically doing the work now i could say that i could create you know different ebooks and different things like that to really help people and i could sell those separately but the main thing that i said that i was creating was actually my accountability services where i am physically helping women to get by in life yours might be 
what I'm selling is videos. You know, I am a content creator and I'm going to just be selling videos. I'm not going to actually be talking to anybody, but what are all the things that you're doing? So I just need you to get into the details now because before we can sell it, before we can actually let the world know that it exists, we got to know exactly what it is that you're doing. Who are you? What do you do? And how do you do it? That's the last thing I need you to know in this seven day time frame because this is going to move very fast. We only got two more weeks after this week so that you guys can actually establish yourselves as these people. And we'll be talking about social media and the different platforms that you can use and different apps that you can use and all of that later. But specifically, ladies, who are you now? I am an accountability coach. I'm an author. I'm a speaker. Um, I'm a prayer kit maker. These are all the people that I am. What is it that you do specifically? I create prayer kits. I help women to connect and their children to connect to God through prayer. I put things inside a box, you know, all the details, okay? And how do you do it? I put the things in a box. I mail them to people or whatever. We got to get these full processes done, okay? When we can get the full picture of who it is that you are, what it is that you do, and how you do it, we can then sell it to the people. Again, ladies, this assignment is not um, hard. I don't think it is. It's just going to take you taking the time to say, this is who I am. I am an accountability coach. I am a creative writer. I am um, the owner of a daycare. This is what I do. I watch children. This is how I do them. Throughout the day, I teach them lesson plans, da, 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 da. whatever it is, okay, that you're going to do. And then we'll be able to get to the money, all right? We'll be able to figure out the pricing and how these services are priced and all that. But we have to actually know what is it that you're offering. Are you offering one-on-one -on -one consultation? Are you doing things uh, web-based? Are you saying that every week, like here in the Love Me Freely Society, I'm still an accountability coach, but this is online, uh, an online-based group accountability where I'm walking people through the process. So for this, it would have been accountability coach. Uh, Love Me Freely Society is the service that I'm providing. How do I provide it? I provide it to them online. I provide weekly videos to them and templates and things for them to use that will help them to love their lives better. So do the full process. These are the three questions I need you to answer within these next seven days. Who are you? You might be saying the same. Your job title might not change. Whoever you are showing up in the world, it might not change. But if it is changing, I am now a content creator. I am now the mommy and me helper. I am now this. This is what I do. I create this. I host these events. I teach these classes. I have these webinars. I did, did, did all the things. All right. And how do you do this? I do this by going into schools. I do this by um, meeting moms and children at the library. I do this by hosting online webinars or whatever it is. So who are you? What do you do? And how do you do it? That is going to be very important before we can sell it. We need to know all of these things. All right. Ladies, I love you all so very much. I hope that this is helpful to you as this journey. I'm taking it very easy for you guys because I know y'all got stuff to do. I know you guys are mothers, wives, uh, daughters, sisters, uh, co-workers, and all these things. So I'm not trying to stress you out or do too much, but I got to know these things so that we can move forward. If you need some help saying, Marley, I don't really know who this is or who I'm saying I am or what it is that I can do as this person or how do I do it? How do I actually generate the income? Please send me um, a message, you can send me a message on Facebook or Instagram or email me at Marlia, uh, info at MarliaBrian.com. Again, that is info, I-N-F-O, like information, at MarliaBrian.com. I simply want to see you guys thrive and do things that you love, but we have to know who you are, what is it that you do, and how you do it so that we can market it and sell it, all right? So give me your products, give me your services. Please list these out. These are the things I'm going to sell. This is how I'm going to make money. I'm making money off events. I'm making money off of trainings. I'm making money off of eBooks. I'm making money off of, you know, face-to-face -face consultations. I'm making, a how are we actually going to make the money, all right? We'll put all of this together in the next few weeks, but I need you to know who it is that you are, what you do, and how you do it so we can sell that to the people, all right? Let's say a prayer. Um, God, I just thank you so very much for giving me the opportunity to be with the women uh, this week and just assist them in this process of just making money, doing what they love, um, making money from home, making money, uh, just making money, Lord. <laughs> That's it. 
Lord, we are creating wealth that we want to leave for our children's children. And we would just want to make sure that we are just being obedient, using our gifts and talents well to just serve people, Lord God. There's so many needs in this world. There's so many things that people need, Lord God. And we got the solutions. There are things that we know how to do well that are very easy that we can teach to other people if we want to be in the teaching position or just create the things that help the people to live their lives better. I don't know what you're calling each individual to, Lord God, but I ask that you will just let her know without a shadow of a doubt that this is how she, you are designing her to bring in money in this season, Lord God, and allow her mind and her creativity to just flow like it's never flown before and allow her to really see that she can do this thing, that making this thing and creating this space and doing this thing can help people and create a space for her in this world, God. I just thank you and I just love you so very much for just this opportunity to just assist women in this journey, Lord God. But most importantly, Lord God, is to give you glory, Lord God, for our gifts and our talents to make room for us in this world, Lord God, so that we can leave the inheritance that you said that you said we should use, leave for our children's children, Lord God. May you bless each and every one of this, these women with strength and strategy, Lord God, to fulfill um, the call in their lives, Lord God, and to actually do the thing that you are calling them to do, Lord God. I believe that they can all make money doing what they love, Lord God, with the things that they're already interested in, Lord God, creating spaces and products and services, Lord God, that are going to make your world a better place, Lord God. Use us like you've never used us before. We ask that your will be done. Please forgive us for all of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, ladies. So the only thing that I have left to tell you, and I really like my little Emmy. Y'all. I got this little logo. And we could talk about logos and designs and all that in the future. But um, I need you to do the work. Message me if you need help. And lastly, listen to Think and Grow Rich. I created six different sources of income in less than two years by listening to that book often. I think I've listened to it six times, maybe more. I'm not sure, but do the work, ladies. I love you and love yourselves more by doing the work. All right, peace and blessings.